I love a good fried chicken sandwich once in a while. To me, the chicken needs to be crispy on the outside, juicy on the inside, and the buns need to be toasty while the condiments are fresh and evenly distributed. Hello everyone, welcome to Global Dine-In. I'm Christina. Today I will show you how to make Popeye's inspired Cajun chicken sandwich. The first thing we'll do is prep our chicken. For that, you will need two large boneless skinless chicken breasts. Take a cutting board. Line the cutting board with a parchment paper. Then place the chicken breast on top of the parchment paper. Place another piece of parchment paper on top of the chicken. Then pound the chicken breasts. Once you are done pounding the chicken breast, remove the parchment paper. Cut each chicken breast in half crosswise to make two pieces of chicken about the same size as the bun you will be using. Then set the chicken aside. Next, we'll make marinade for our chicken. Take a large casserole dish. Add one cup of buttermilk, one teaspoon paprika, one teaspoon garlic powder, one teaspoon ground black pepper powder, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon Cajun seasoning, half a teaspoon onion powder. Thoroughly whisk all marinade ingredients well together. Then add the chicken pieces to the marinade. Use a clean hand to coat the chicken in marinade. Then cover the chicken with a lid or plastic wrap. Then place it in the fridge to marinate overnight. Make sure to bring the chicken out from the fridge about an hour before you're ready to cook. Remove the lid or plastic wrap. Then flip the chicken pieces. Set the chicken aside. While the chicken is resting, we'll make our Cajun sauce. Take a medium-sized bowl. Add one cup of mayo, two teaspoon hot sauce, two teaspoon Cajun seasoning, two teaspoon paprika, two teaspoon fresh lemon juice, one teaspoon garlic powder, one teaspoon sugar, half a teaspoon onion powder. Whisk all the sauce ingredients well together. Then taste the sauce for seasoning. Then set the sauce aside. Next, we'll make breading for our chicken. Take a large casserole dish. Add one and a quarter cup flour, one third cup cornstarch, one tablespoon paprika, one tablespoon garlic powder, one tablespoon Cajun seasoning, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon onion powder, half a teaspoon cayenne pepper powder. Use a clean hand to mix everything well. Drizzle two to three tablespoons of the buttermilk batter into the flour mixture. Use a clean hand to mix it thoroughly. Then set the mixture aside. Take a large baking sheet. Then line it with parchment paper. Then move the pan to the side. Then bring out the flour mixture and the marinated chicken. Working with one piece of chicken at a time, dredge chicken in the flour mixture. Then press flour on top of the chicken to form a thick crust. Shake off excess flour. Transfer the chicken to the parchment lined baking sheet. Repeat with the remaining chicken. Let the chicken rest for 10 to 15 minutes. Take a large deep electric skillet. Set up a large baking sheet with a wire rack. Add four cups of canola oil to the electric skillet. Heat the oil over medium high heat. Check to see if the oil is ready. You can test the oil with bottom of a wooden spoon or with a frying thermometer. Oil should be about 350 degrees. If you see the bubble forming around the wooden spoon, then the oil is ready. Transfer the chicken to hot oil and fry the chicken for four to five minutes per side. Make sure to flip the chicken in between few times for even browning. Fry the chicken until the outside is crispy and golden, and the internal temperature reaches 165. Cook time will vary depending on the thickness of the chicken pieces. Transfer the cooked chicken to prepared wire rack for cooling. Melt some butter in a skillet. Once the butter is melted, toast the buns face side down until golden and crisp. Spread a generous layer of Cajun mayo on bottom of the bun. Top with pickle slices. Then place a piece of fried chicken. Place about one tablespoon of Cajun mayo on top of the chicken. Then place the top bun. Then finish making rest of the sandwiches and enjoy. I hope you try out this recipe and let me know your thoughts. And if you like the written recipe, go to globaldinin.com, search for Popeye's chicken sandwich. And please don't forget to hit the bell icon and subscribe to my channel.